The Kangaroo Chronicles. The quote. He who is friends with a kangaroo probably also has a giraffe living next door. Or is it a penguin? Wait a moment. How does that go again? Damn it. I'm always so bad at remembering these sayings. Oscar Wilde. <laughs> the first page of the book, there's uh, only a few words. It, 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 it says, previously on the Kangaroo Chronicles. Next page, nothing. <laughs> the kangaroo from across the hall. Ding dong, the doorbell rings. I go to the door, open it, and stand face to face with the kangaroo. I blink, look behind me, peer down the staircase, then up the staircase. I look straight ahead. The kangaroo is still there. Hello, says the kangaroo. Without moving my head, I look to the left, then to the right, at the clock, and finally at the kangaroo. Hello, I say. I just moved in across the hall and wanted to make some pancakes, and then I realized that I don't have a pan. I nod, go to the kitchen and return with a pan. Thank you so much, says the kangaroo, sticking the pan in its pouch. I nod and the kangaroo disappears behind the door of the apartment across the hall. With my left index finger, I tap the tip of my nose several times and then close the door. Shortly thereafter, the doorbell rings again. I swing the door open straight away as I am still standing in front of it. Oh, exclaims the kangaroo. That was quick. Uh, um, I just noticed that I don't have any salt either. I nod, go to the kitchen and return with a salt shaker. Thanks a lot. If you happen to also have a little milk and some flour. <laughs> I nod and go to the kitchen. The kangaroo takes everything, thanks me for it and leaves. Two minutes later, the bell rings again. I open the door, holding two eggs and some oil. <laughs> thanks, says the kangaroo. Good thinking. <laughs> Now, if you happen to have a whisk or a mixer, I nod and step away. And perhaps a mixing bowl, the kangaroo calls behind me. Ten minutes later, the doorbell rings again. I don't have a stove, the kangaroo says simply. <laughs> I nod and step aside. Just to the right, I say. The kangaroo goes into the kitchen. So do I. The kangaroo handles the pan so clumsily that I take over. Would you happen to have something to fill the batter? Asked the marsupial. Mixed vegetables or some ground beef? I'd have to buy the ground beef, I reply. No problem, I can wait, says the kangaroo. <laughs> It's better when the mix has some time to aerate anyway. I take my keys from the hook. But don't go to Aldi, the kangaroo calls after me. <laughs> the working conditions there are more than questionable. <laughs> so I go to the butcher and buy some ground beef. Upon re-entering my apartment building, I run into my downstairs neighbor. Have you seen the new neighbor? She asks me. I nod. Ain't from around here, ain't he? She asks, scratching at her Hitler mustache. <laughs> of course, she doesn't actually have a mustache. It's more like a fuzz. A Hitler fuzz. <laughs> Soon them damn Turks gonna be taking over the whole place. I look at her more closely. Well, perhaps it is indeed a mustache. <laughs> What you gawking at? She asks. I think the kangaroos from Australia. Uh-huh. Australia, you say. Could be. But that don't matter none. This Islam is giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs>